Good God. Just not even acceptable. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. I don't know if our hairy meat can take this anymore. It's dangling there very precariously. I guess I should order a maneuver of some kind. Let's see if we can see what this is. Oh, it's another... OS2U Kingfisher, thanks to multiple people for telling me what that is. Uh, he's not a very good fisherman, though, it would seem. He hasn't caught anything lately. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get out of this fine, but. What a delight! Take a look at the map and see if he's even gonna come close to attacking me. The fact that they're coming basically right at me strongly infers, at least to me, that they know exactly where I am and that they're making a very concerted effort to kill me. But the game is kind of. I, I don't think it's really that sophisticated, but it doesn't really matter because it'll eventually work. But I think that this time it will not, so... Huzzah. We're gonna keep going. Alright, I've had enough of this. I really have. This is this is just too much for me. I don't think Delonian is really a flat gunner, but we're gonna put him there anyways and see if he can actually do his... do something. I don't know. <laughs> do his patriotic duty. Where is it? 159? Oh, he's actually pretty far away, so I'm not gonna bother with the flat gun. Sorry, Delonian. <laughs> not tonight. Not tonight. Or today. It's 10.28 in the morning. What am I talking about? He's heading for us. We probably could have taken a good shot at him, but... I'd rather play it safe than be incredibly sorry later. Probably going to come in for an attack here. So we're getting under fairly quickly. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be able to. Well, that was well executed. Thank you. I'm excellent at this game. I do nothing wrong, ever. Yep, he's just going to fly right over us. That's great. Or is he? Nope. Fuck! <laughs> God damn it, it serves me right. We did, did we just take hull damage? I think we just took hull damage. Because this is still yellow. This has been yellow since uh, one of the run-ins with the Spitfires. I guess that just goes to show you, you need to be pretty deep before you can say, oh, everything's hunky-dory and fine and grand and good and wonderful. This is doing some really horrible things to my psyche. I really am not enjoying this. <laughs> Alright, well, we're gonna get out of here, hopefully, sometime this century. Warship? No! Don't do that. I wanna make war, I wanna make love. I've been really trying, baby. <laughs> trying to hold back this feeling for so long. And if you feel like I feel, let's get it on. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're in really deep water. That's excellent. <laughs> let's just keep going down then. <sighs> now, let's see. They're spaced far enough apart that these are probably not your run of the mill motorboats. So, this is not good. We're executing a turn, so our sound guy might have lost these two. <laughs> 
They are getting quite close. This guy is anyway. His buddy, I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. Was that a warship? The second one a warship too? <laughs> yeah, it was. Fantastic. Well, we're silent at least. So I don't think that they're really going to mount any kind of serious attack on us, but this is just awful. <laughs> Never doing this again. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get attacked. Let's see what it is. It's a little uh, captain class, I think. It's a little guy. What's the other one? That's a town class. Oh, it's Norwegian. Have you ever listened to Norwegian spoken? <coughs> sounds. I was watching um, Troll Hunter last night, and it sounds exactly like what happens if you speak English and then play it backwards. But like in the, have you also have you seen Twin Peaks? It sounds like the midget, the midget or the the small the little person um, who they have him say words backwards and then play it backwards so that it sounds sort of like real words. That's how Norwegian sounds to me. Well, that was unnecessary. Let's um, keep on pressing on here and... Uh, I'm done talking. <laughs> and just in case anybody cares, this is actually a hunt one class that is hunting us. How apropos. Um, they did drop a couple of charges way far away from where we were, but we seem to be getting out of here unscathed, although I do think I'm going through some kind of psychological breakdown. But, uh, I think the danger itself, the real non-imagined uh, danger, is uh, over, and now I just have to worry about all the voices talking to me inside of my head. So... We're going to keep going and wait for these guys to get out of the area and then proceed on the surface and probably get bombed. Oh boy. Actually, I take that back. Just about a minute later now and we are possibly going to get depth charged here. I, am st I have been running silent, but they appear to be coming back. And that could just be a coincidence. But I tend not to assume that anything that the Royal Navy does is just pure whimsy. <laughs> it just doesn't seem to work out that way for me, so. He's coming back into the area. He's behind me. I think that this must be the hunt class. And that's the town class. It doesn't matter. I mean, I know that they're not... Really, the important difference is that if you hear a warship contact... If you know that they're um, anything but a motorboat, you should be intensely worried as a U-boat uh, commander. So, I mean, the fact that these guys weren't mo moving very quickly and that they weren't in such a tight formation, that means immediately that they're not motorboats in all likelihood. And thus, I should have been worried regardless of what they were. Just knowing what they were is just knowing what they look like before they kill you. That's really all it is. But they're not attacking. I haven't been getting pinged, fortunately, so I don't know how it is that they know that I'm over here. Unless they're just messing with me. <laughs> but, yeah, it seems like they, well, they also have disappeared at this point, so I can't really say what it seems to me that is going on. Hijinks, chicanery, skullduggery, that's what's going on. Uh, I have lost them on hydrophone. Let's go to the east. Nothing. Okay, let's return to course. Let's go up to periscope depth. And we'll see if we can see anything on the surface. This isn't actually, I don't think that the hunt is a destroyer. It might be a very small one, but. God, these conditions are not appropriate for what I want to do here. <laughs> and that is live. 
Rimini. Okay, well, they're not in immediate visual range, so I'm going to put us on the surface. And as soon as I do that, watch there be a plane. Let's just speed things up and prove my point. Oh, nothing. All right. Well, that's lucky. Okay. Onward and upward. Or not upward. Just I'm forward. Let's, for just, let's just get out of here. Just wanted to point something out really quick. It's uh, 2214. That is 1014 at night. And it is still fairly light out. Um, as most people in the Northern Hemisphere know, during the summertime, if you go real far north, there are days that literally do not end. They will um, just... The sun technically won't set. I mean, I guess the sun has set now, but you can see it off on the horizon there. There's a little bit of light still being cast from it. So as we go further north on this patrol, we may end up having days that are um, basically endless. So that could be interesting. That may provide some complications, but I don't think it'll be that bad. Um, having us... I, I'm putting us a little bit further north just to get us out of here as far as our course. I had us going kind of like this, but now I'm moving us a little bit more northerly just because I don't like it here. So uh, the further away we can get from the Isle of Britain here, the better, because that's where all the fighter cover and bomber cover is coming from. Let's actually take a look here. This line here basically is uh, the danger zone right here, so we don't want to have anything to do with it. But, regrettably, I think we're going to have to have something to do with it. What fun. Alright. But we're making good progress now. We haven't been bullied by anybody lately. See, it's 11.30 and it's still fairly light out, so... And the sun is going to start coming up again any time now, so... Alrighty. Things are looking slightly better. Come to think of it, I don't know why I said that that way. Of course, people in the Southern Hemisphere also have summertime. It's not, it's not like people in the Northern Hemisphere are the only ones allowed to have summer and to have long days. It's just that in the South, of course, um, you know, the winter is our summer and the summer is our winter. Their uh, winter solstice is on June 21st or 22nd, whenever, and their uh, summer solstice is in December. So... I'm an idiot. I just misspoke is really all that it was. I do apologize though to any of my viewers in the Southern Hemisphere, especially to those who may live like here where like in the Falklands or you know, <laughs> they're actually, <laughs> I didn't know that, notice this, they're in as the Malvinen Islands, the, the non-British name. But uh, anybody living like in Punta Arenas here or something like that, who uh, know especially that uh, the days are quite long in the month of December here in the Southern Hemisphere. I don't think I have a whole lot of viewers from uh, far south Argentina and or Chile. So, Anyways, just wanted to correct that. Um, it's already daylight out. It's 3 in the morning. Fun times. Well, as usual, I wasn't really paying attention, but... Um, I did notice something. We are definitely outside of British air cover at this point. If you look at this little line right here, we're well north of it. So uh, I can start repairing my broken mind and uh, make some more progress towards our goal. We have a long ways to go, though. That's a huge distance that we have to cover here. But um, I'm thinking it's going to be pretty uneventful. So a lot of this is probably not going to be recorded. I might, if I run into a contact that I can shoot at, I will at this point, just because I'm starting to get bored and I've got plenty of torpedoes. So if that happens, I'll pick things up. But I'm thinking that this is just going to be me cruising through this and you guys not seeing any of it. So uh, Obviously, our first destination is going to be Archangelsk. 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 And uh, it's right here. And then I think I'm going to bounce back to Murmansk. And then from there we'll kind of go around Britain. <laughs> and then back home. Uh, we do have the fuel for that. I calculated it out thanks to my helpful uh, navigator. Who was my navigator today? Spice Weasel. You're a gentleman and a scholar. So, yeah. We're 
moving right along. We're moving on up to the east side. It's uh, 2317, and it is light out. It's going to possibly start getting darker here in a bit. We are past the solstice quite a bit, so... And we're not moving due north or anything, so it's not going to be noticeably lighter as we go through. But it's still going to stay fairly light through the night. What a fright. Or a delight. I'm done. Let's keep going. Well, that's interesting. We have a... looks like a radio report. A ship in the immediate area. So I'm going to go and pay it a visit. Yeah, it's out of visual range for sure. The weather is not really conducive to hunting. And in fact, let me see... No, we're not going to be able to use the deck gun in this. Okay, well... Try this. His course is southwest. Okay, well... See if we can get into hydrophone range. Well, we're actually already in hydrophone range, but see if we can get a little bit closer. Go under. And the sounds aren't going to stop for me. That's not very nice. should be over here. There's a lot of background noise though because of my stupid crew. Thanks guys. Yeah, I can't hear them, so I'm just gonna... Ah, there we go. Okay. Merchant moving s Oh! Hello, Dolly! Okay. Well, if conditions were any better, we would be able to see them, but I don't think that that's really going to be too possible under the circumstances. Oh! Supposedly we can see them now. Oh, conditions have improved! Hey, look! Well, that's a first. We haven't seen one of these in a long... Well, I don't think we actually have seen one ever in our patrol. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> so, these are not merchants, as you might have surmised. We have not seen one of these, these icebergs here. We have not seen any in our entire career. Um, but, as you can see, they are modeled in the game. They are enormous. Um, and I don't think you can sink them. I would not bother trying. But that's pretty awesome. I'm glad that we ran into these. Well, not literally. If we had literally run into these, we would be in some trouble. Um, no wonder I couldn't hear them. I bet that they do have a very slight uh, sound profile. And you can see it says ice. Dun, 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 dun. Um... Let me actually go back onto Hydrophone. See if we can hear these guys. These <laughs> giant ice cubes. Let's see if my Hydrophone guy can get them back on. There we go. Let's just take a reading here real quick. a merchant. I like how it says <laughs> What are they going to sell you other than ice? Well, I don't hear anything, although, like I say, I bet that they do give off a very small amount of noise, but <clears throat> that's pretty cool. We haven't run into these um, icebergs before, but you do have to be careful of them because they will probably utterly annihilate you. Pretty sweet. They actually look kind of goofy if you get up close to them. I'm going to do that. Not to knock the uh, GWX people, but they look kind of silly. Actually, in this weather, they look okay. Sometimes, though, let's go under. 
Because as you know, that is just the tip of the iceberg there. Uh, they go for pretty far down. This one looks pretty cool. There was another model used for these, though, that I remember seeing and thinking, this is ridiculous. Like, it... Part of, like, the equator of it, I guess. Like, the middle part that is right here was, like, above the water, so it just looked retarded. But these look good. Good job, GWX team. Beautifully modeled. Anyways... We're going to just avoid those and uh, continue on. You know, that... How did we get a radio report on those, actually? Now that I'm thinking about this whole thing... I guess it could be that there was another U-boat right by us that noticed them. But, I don't know. Doesn't seem too likely to me, but... In any event, we appreciate them announcing their presence... Maybe there's like a radio tower at the top of those. That could be it. Maybe there are bears on there and they're saying, Hey everybody, stay off of our icebergs. We're hunting delicious seals. That's the best I can come up with. If anybody else has any suggestions, I'm I'm all ears. Don't run into these. <laughs> 